Hey there, this is One Boom, and you're watching a DLC map review. Welcome to Quarantine. Enjoy the video. So, of course, what I'm going to start out with is the rating. This map gets a unfortunate 4 out of 10, and if those two numbers are good enough for you, feel free to back out now. But if you want to know why I give it a 4 out of 10, stick around. Okay, so like most maps, uh, you want to know the layout. The layout of this map is very linear, very uh, rectangular map with three lanes, of course, a couple of height advantages here and there, and also very symmetrical. Anything on one side of the map is pretty much on the other side. And the only interesting thing as far as layout goes is the middle lane. The middle lane has a room where the floor collapses and turns into a dark abyss. Of course, falling into a hole or off the map isn't anything new in video games, but with this map, I'll take anything I can get when it comes to an interesting new experience. Also, the thing is about the spawns, uh, we have to talk about the spawns. It seems that they stick, and I think everyone knows what a sticky spawn is. It's basically when you go to the enemy spawn location and you kill them, they'll still spawn back there. That happens a lot on this map. Even if they spawn in a secondary spawn location, it's so close to the main spawn area that you can't really you can't really push up too much on this map. Every time I pushed up, I killed someone and then they spawned either behind me or right around the wall. And so I'd kill them, move forward, and they'd be directly in front of me. And that's just, oh, that's just unfortunate. Uh, the color scheme of this map is another thing I need to talk about. Colors are everything on a map to me. And this map has very drab, uh, washed out colors. It's trying to go for like a, a cold winter's day. You know, it's very ominous. It's supposed to be very creepy. And it does that fairly well. But it's also boring, drab, and I'm not honestly a fan of it. But I guess it is interesting for Advanced Warfare for a map to actually be a little bit more dark and spooky, other than, you know, bright and vibrant. And of course, one of the biggest factors on maps is, are they fun? If the map isn't fun, it doesn't matter what it looks like, or if the spawns are good, or what the layout is, it has to be a fun map, and this map just isn't. It's very dull, lacks excitement, lacks innovation, and it's just kind of a boring map. And that's really all I have to say about that. I mean, there's not a lot of things I can go into on whether they're fun or not. And hell, you could even have fun on this map. You know, it's all subjective. But to be honest, I don't see anything about this map that's fun or exciting. Or that'll make me vote for it when it shows up. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys don't mind negative map reviews. Honestly, it's just this map is probably my least favorite out of the DLC. And that's saying something because this DLC kind of disappointed me. So, I'll give you guys the rest of the DLC reviews later in the week. Probably around... Uh, I would say Saturday, Sunday, and Monday probably would be uh, when the next DLC map reviews come out because I'm going to be busy today and I'm not going to be able to record uh, Friday's video. So I'm very sorry for that. There won't be a video this Friday. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye! Also, this map has monkeys. If that's a saving grace for you and you're a huge monkey fan, this is a map for you. $15 is well worth the price for monkeys.